Hi guys, you're welcome to this particular module where we'll be talking about notifications. Uh, the user should have the access to get notification of the particular um, weather data, uh, probably for today or next uh, weather data will be, which will be for the following day. For us to have this integrated, we need to create um, a notification utilities, right? In the utilities package, you have the notification utils. Uh, what about the? We have the class called notification utils. The column of data that we are interested in displaying within our notification to let the user know there is a new weather data available. We have the string array, which is the weather notification projection. Well, whereby we call the weather entry to the weather contract created which is the column weather ID, the column maximum temperature, and the column minimum temp. I will store the indices of the values in the array of strings above to move, to more, to more quickly be able to access the data from our query. If the order of the strings are both changes, these indices must be adjusted to match the order of the strings. However, we have the index whether id the index maximum temp and the index minimum which is 0 1 2 respectively this notification id the one uh, i just mentioned can be used to access our notification after we displayed it this can be handy when we need to cancel the notification or perhaps update it this number is arbitrary and can be set to whatever you like you know we're going to create a constant integer value to identify the notification which is the weather notification id we give it 3004 and we construct and display a notification for the newly updated weather for today uh, what about the context used to query our content provider and use various utility methods what about we have the today weather uri uh, in order to show up the date data in notification uh, we have the weather entry we build the weather URI with date you know what about we normalize the date and we get the current time in milliseconds of the system uh, the main forecast projection will be passed in as the second parameter is defined in our weather contract and it's just to limit the columns we're turned in our cursor. What about we have the today weather URI, the weather notification projection. We still have to move to first. Uh, what about we, if the today weather cursor is empty, you move to first, we'll be returned first. If our cursor is not empty, we want to show the notification. What about we have the weather eyes as returned by the API used to identify the icon to be used. This is where we get the icon. You get the index, weather ID, the maximum tip, the min tip, based on the double data type, high and low. Now we get the resources, which is the icon to be used. Uh, you get the large art resource ID for the weather condition. Uh, the large icon, which is the bitmap. And uh, the notification title, there must be a title for the notification, which is weather hub. And the text of the notification which has the weather id the high and the low of the particular weather of that particular day we have the small art resource id uh, which returns the proper art to show given an id we also have the notification compact whereby we have the builder notification uh we instantiate this create a, uh, an object from it called the notification builder where we set the color you no know, it's very convenient it's a convenient way to backward compatible notifications you know so that will provide a context and specify color for the notification a couple of icons which is the small the large icon and the, uh, the text involved we have the content tied to the content text and the auto cancel this is just for uh, backward compatibility with our uh, previous Android uh, API versions. 
uh, we create an intent with a proper URI to start the detail activity. That's when you click the notification, probably at the uh, draw. When you draw that down, you get to see the notification is being reviewed. A click on the notification will trigger the intent to the detail activity. That's what this is doing. Uh, you use the tax stack builder to create the proper pending intent. What about you add next intent with parent stack? The result pending intent object is created where you get the pending intent and you flag the update current. You set the content intent of the notification, you set the content intent, and you get a reference to the notification manager. Uh, you also notify the user with the ID whether notification ID which allows to update or cancel the notification later on. Uh, we have the get notification text, uh, which returns the summary of a particular day's forecast using the various utility method and resources for formatting. However, uh, we have the high, the forecast, the high, the low, which is gotten from the string, the format notification. And where there's something very important we need to add up, in the weather preferences, that's the settings of this particular application, we create a method, which is the Boolean method, you know, are notifications enabled. Uh, this returns true if the user prefers to see notification uh, from the weather hub. False otherwise, you no. Know, this preference can be changed by the user within the settings fragment. Uh, the key for accessing the preference for showing notifications which is the display notification key, the string, which is enabled notifications. And in the weather app, the user has the ability to say whether no, she would like notifications enabled or not. If no preference has been chosen, we want to be able to determine whether or not to show them, which is the show display notifications by default. You get the resources, you get the boolean, which is show notification by default. So it's, it's going to be showed by default. That's just what this is doing. No, we use the default shared preference to access the user preferences. And if a value is stored with the key, we extract it here. If not, use the default uh, key. So you return should display notification. So by default, uh, the, the app will show notification. So you have access to uh, to uncheck the notification uh, from the uh, settings fragment, which is actually going to be at the URL of the application. I'll be showing the screencast of this particular module so that you see that we are actually heading to a proper landing in this particular application. Get to look at how uh, the notification showed the present or uh, the upcoming uh, weather data. Stay tuned. In our next module, we'll be talking about the list item layout. So catch me up in the next module. Don't go anywhere.